So today I've got my 2017 Razer Blade 14. It's the pretty performant, pretty thin gaming laptop from Razer. Um, and today I'm gonna be cracking it open to get out the two terabyte NVMe SSD that I put in there uh, a year or two ago. So uh, let's get a closer look, get that hard drive out. Okay, so we have the laptop here and it is opened up from the bottom. Um, and if you can get a close look at these screws, I don't know how well you'll be able to see. You'll see they're the little torque or star kind. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and get my screwdriver and it looks like it'll be maybe uh, labeled as a T5 on this set. Um, so let's get that all prepared. And there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 screws. So I'll just go ahead and start unscrewing. Nice, coming out nice and easily, at least that one. Okay, and let's get that case off. It's being a little stubborn. Let's see what's going on. Hmm. Perhaps this could be related to this machine's demise. I did never find out exactly what went wrong with it. Hmm. What is going on with this? Oh, okay. Well, uh, yeah, I'm seeing some interesting stuff here. So <laughs> looks like maybe some warping here on the battery. It was feeling very stuck uh, here and here. So very likely that there were some overheating problems or something like that with this. Uh, wouldn't be terribly surprised. <sighs> this thing ran hot all the time. Um, and then... The only device in here that I'm very interested in at all is the SSD, which is located here. It's a Samsung uh, NVMe 970 EVO Plus. Um, and as I recall, it looks like there's just one Phillips screw. So I will try to find a bit that fits it, maybe this one going with uh, zero zero. And can't tell if that's gripping well. Kind of seems like not actually. Screw looks slightly stripped. There we go. Okay. And it's coming. There we go. Keep this screw separate from the others. And there you have it. Got my SSD back. Two terabytes. So well worth salvaging because the machine that I'm planning on putting it in has less than uh, 200. All right, well, uh, thank you for that. I'll be showing you more soon, but for now, that's how you remove the SSD from a Razer Blade 14 laptop. Thanks everybody.